Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the IND, which opened in 1932. On September 10, 1932, the IND 8th Avenue line opened from 207th Street to Chambers Street. On February 1, 1933, the IND 8th Avenue line was extended from Chambers Street to J Street Metrotech, in which in J Street Metrotech, it started the IND 14th Street line. And then on June 24, 1933, High Street Station opened in between Fulton Street and J Street Metrotech. On July 1st, 1933, the whole IND Concourse line opened from Norwood 205th Street to the lower level of 145th Street, in which after 145th Street, it connects with the IND 8th Avenue line. On August 19, 1939, the IND Queens Boulevard line opened from the lower level of 50th Street on the IND 8th Avenue line, to Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue, in which in August 28, 1939, the Court Square of 23rd Street Station, in which before it was called 23rd Street Eli Avenue, opened in between Queens Plaza and Lexington Avenue 53rd Street. On that same day, in August 19, 1939, the IND Crosstown Line opened from Court Square to Nassau Avenue. On March 20, 1933, the IND Culver Line opened Open from J Street Borough Hall, in which was now called J Street Metrotech, but I did not mention that before, to Bergen Street. And then on October 7, 1933, it was extended from Bergen Street to Church Avenue. On July 1, 1936, the IND 6th Avenue line opened from East Broadway to Broadway Lafayette Street. And then on April 9, 1936, the York Street Station opened, in which later the York Street Station connected with J Street Borough Hall. On that same day, in April 9, 1936, the IND Fulton Street line was extended from J Street Metrotech to Rockaway Avenue. On December 31, 1936, the IND Queens Boulevard line was extended from Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue to Kew Gardens Union Turnpike. And then on April 24, 1936, it was extended from Kew Gardens to 169th Street. On July 1st, 1937, the rest of the IND Crosstown line opened from Nassau Avenue to Hoyt Skimmerhorn Street, in which later connected to the IND Culver line. On December 15, 1940, the IND 6th Avenue line was extended from Broadway Lafayette Street to Rockefeller Center, in which after the station is split into three lines, in which one goes to the left to connect with the 8th Avenue line, one goes ahead. And then one goes right to connect with the IND Queens Boulevard line. December 30th, 1946, the IND Fulton Street line was extended from Rockway Avenue to Broadway Junction. And then on November 28, 1948, it was again extended from Broadway Junction to Euclid Avenue. Also in 1946, the Court Street station on the IND Fulton Street line closed due to low ridership. And then it reopened on 1976 as the New York Transit Museum. On December 10, 1950, the rest of the Queens Boulevard line opened from 169th Street to Jamaica 179th Street. On October 30, 1954, the IND Culver line was extended from Church Avenue to Coney Island Stillwell Avenue using the Culver ramp to connect Church Avenue to the BMT Culver line from Dimas Avenue to Coney Island, in which now the BMT Culver line is now the IND Culver line. On December 1st, 1955, the 60th Street Tunnel Connection opened in which led BMT Broadway Line trains connect to the IND Queens Boulevard Line. On April 26, 1956, the IND Fulton Street Line was extended from Euclid Avenue to Onzo Park's Lefferts Boulevard via the Fulton Street L from 80th Street to Onzo Park's Lefferts Boulevard and then three days later on April 29, Grant Avenue opened. On June 28, 1956, the IND Rockway line opened from Rockway Boulevard, which is in the IND Fulton Street line, to Broad Channel, and then after the station is split into two branches, the Far Rockway branch to Beach 25th Street and the Rockway Park branch to Beach 116th Street. Then on January 16, 1958, the Far Rockway branch, which is in the IND Rockway line, was extended from Beach 25th Street to Far Rockway Mall Avenue. On September 14, 1959, a new station in the IND Rockway line opened called Aqueduct Racetrack, which was in between Rockway Boulevard and Aqueduct North Cundit Avenue, 
and that station was only served by northbound trains. On November 27, 1967, the Grand Street Station opened as part of the Christie Street connection, which made BMT Jamaica trains connect to the IND 6th Avenue line from Essex Street and BMT 4th Avenue line trains connect from Decalb Avenue going into the Manhattan Bridge, stopping in Grand Street and connecting to the IND 6th Avenue line. On July 1st, 1968, the IND 6th Avenue line was extended from Rockefeller Center to 57th Street. December 11, 1988, the Archer Avenue line, which is part of the IND and BMT, opened, in which for the IND started from Briarwood in the Queens Boulevard line to Jamaica Center Parsons Archer. On October 29, 1989, the IND 63rd Street line opened which was a connection from 57th Street on the IND 6th Avenue line to 36th Street, which is in the IND Queens Boulevard line. If the train was running local or Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue, if it was going to express. On January 1st, 2017, the IND 2nd Avenue line opened, in which it started from 57th Street 7th Avenue on the BMT Broadway line, and then trains going there via the 2nd Avenue had to go via the IND 63rd Street line, stopping at Lexington Avenue 63rd Street, and then going via 2nd Avenue, stopping to 96th Street. I hope you all like this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to other people. Bye!